If you ever wanted to grow your own bell peppers from seed indoors, if you have, I'm going to show you exactly what to do, and we're starting right now. What's up guys? My name is John. Welcome to another video. If it's your first time here and you want to learn more about sustainable gardening, gardening tips and tricks, and other pepper related videos, start now by clicking the subscribe button and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on a thing. All right guys, so we are back and today we're talking all about growing bell peppers from seed indoors. Now, this can be a tricky topic because peppers are a, a plant that fruits. So growing them indoors can be challenging, but with a little bit of effort and a little bit of space, you can grow your own bell peppers inside from seed. So without further ado, let's jump on into the video. All right, so we're back and we're gonna be starting some bell peppers from seed indoors. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to get a couple of red solo cups. We're gonna be using the double cup method. Uh, and the whole idea behind this method, guys, is you have two cups, one with no holes cut in the bottom. That is your bottom cup. And then you have one that has holes in the bottom. And what I've done is I've simply taken a pair of scissors and I've cut little slits around the bottom rim. And what this will do is it'll actually act as drainage, but it'll also uh, provide a sort of uh, protection from the plants getting root bound uh, because they'll come and they'll find a hole instead of just curling around the bottom, okay? So you're going to take this cup with holes and you're going to put it in the one with no holes and that's your system. Now we're going to take this and we're going to fill it up with some seed starting mix. Um, this is the Jiffy seed starting mix. This is my preference uh, when I'm starting seeds indoors. It's real nice and fluffy. It's light. It's sterile. So there's no insect eggs or anything like that in it. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, my it's pre-moistened and I'm going to take it and I'm going to put seed starting mix in my cup okay just like that i'm going to lightly press it down so that the soil or the seed starting mix makes contact with the holes all right just like that press it down lightly again all right there we go okay just like that All right, I'm gonna take the cup with the soil and I'm gonna slide it into the cup just like that. All right, since we've got that part done, so the seeds I've chosen for this is the Ozark Giant Bell Pepper. Uh, I've chosen this variety because I've heard really good things about be them being super productive. And this one is from Trade Winds Fruit. So definitely check them out. I'll put a link in the description below. Now with the double cup set up, you really don't want to plant any more than say two or three seeds. Uh, you can plant more than that and just transplant them out, which will be what I'll do. In this case, I'm going to plant three seeds and I'm just going to plant them just kind of around the cup, just like that. Okay. Super easy to do. And I'm just going to press them in with my finger, cover them up. You want to press pepper seeds in about a quarter of an inch and cover them up. Really, that's all there is to that. I'm gonna take my Mr. Bottle. All right, just like that, okay? The next thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure to label. So I'm just gonna write it directly on the cup. These are the Ozark Giant Bell. Okay, once you have that done, the next thing I like to do is I like to take with the double cup system and I like to take a Ziploc bag and put it down over the cups and zip it up. The Ziploc bag acts as a little mini greenhouse and helps with germination, helps to hold in the moisture, kind of gives like a little greenhouse effect to it. And so you've really got a better chance uh, of the seeds germinating quicker. So there you go. What you'll want to do is you'll want to put this on a heat mat or somewhere warm 
and it'll should sprout in three to five maybe seven or eight days just depending on temperature and just different things you want to keep the soil uh, surface uh, moist so that that helps with germination but you don't want to keep it waterlogged uh, as soon as the seed sprouts you want to make sure to take the ziploc bag off and get it under some uh, some good grow lights uh, a windowsill will just not cut it all right so now that we've got that seed started i want to show you a couple of bell pepper plants that i already have growing uh, this is the king of the north variety it's a great variety for short seasons uh, for obviously for up north so i wanted to try it out uh two months old i would think give or take i mean this is about what you would normally buy at your local big box store um, your local garden center. This is about the same size as you would buy as a transplant. Okay, so and then the next one I want to show you is the Ozark Giant. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> All right, so this is an Ozark Giant uh, bell pepper plant. This was started, um, I can't remember exactly, and I don't have the date written on here. This was started a few, I would say at least two months ago. As you can tell, this is quite a bit bigger than the other one that I just showed you. Um, this is growing in about a five and a half inch pot uh, with a tray to catch the, the excess water or the nutrients. And this is actually starting, it's actually starting to flower right there. So we're just a little bit away from getting some fruit set hopefully on this plant all right guys so that is basically the starting steps or, or the start of the process to grow the bell peppers from seed indoors uh, if you're growing bell peppers or if you want to make sure to subscribe now to get those updates and if you want to learn more about sustainable gardening gardening tips and tricks, and other bell pepper related videos. Start now by clicking the subscribe button and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on anything. And if you like this video, check out one of these and I will see you in the next one.